New details into what led up to Vallejo police opening fire on a burglary suspect. Police say the suspect was in a car and hit the gas pedal heading toward an officer. At that moment, the officer discharged his on-duty firearm, striking the subject at least one time. That suspect is in the hospital tonight and is expected to face criminal charges. Hello again, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meeback. The police shooting comes just hours after two men were found shot and killed in a car that had crashed. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee has the latest. A burglary at this Vallejo gas station before dawn led to a confrontation in which an officer shot and wounded a suspect. I heard uh, about five guys were trying to rob the gas station. I think there was two vehicles involved. It happened at the Grand gas station on Springs Road a little after 4 Tuesday morning. Workers called police to say they could see a group of intruders inside the store on security video. Carl Fong is the chef and owner of Cakes by Carl next door. And I guess the cops pulled up on them and then uh, they tried to get away and their getaway car smashed into my building. This Dodge Charger crashed into the gas meter behind his shop. The gas had to be shut off. Vallejo police say an officer was hit by the car as the driver tried to get away. The subject accelerated his vehicle towards the officer. The officer was struck by the vehicle, causing him to land on the vehicle's hood. The officer opened fire, hitting and wounding the suspect, who will be booked in a jail after medical treatment. A bullet hole could be seen in the windshield of the Charger. It wasn't until hours later that Fong was allowed to bring eggs and other perishable items inside. Yeah, it's pretty scary. I mean, because it's getting worse out here, um, and I hate to have it so close to my shop, you know, but i got to keep on plowing along. Vallejo police and the State Department of Justice forensic crew spent hours at the crime scene. Evidence markers littered the street. Police chased a second vehicle linked to the break-in onto I-80. The high-speed pursuit ended in Hercules. In a separate incident, two men were found shot and killed inside this car that crashed near Alhambra and Cabrillo at about 8.30 Monday night. The men were taken to a hospital where they were pronounced dead. I heard, um, I think around 8 to 10 successive shots. David and Mark Buifor says they could tell what they heard was not fireworks. Still, they said many in the community are accustomed to gunfire. Unfortunately, uh, it's gotten to a point where we feel like there's not, not much you can do about it. And it, it happens so often. The gunfire is, is so common, it's, it's almost like you don't pay attention to it too much. So the Vallejo police are busy investigating this double homicide as well as this high-speed pursuit on the freeway. The DA's office is joining the department in the investigation in this shooting near the gas station. In Vallejo, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.